Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, September 7th, 2017. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. If you ask most of the experts out there, they'll tell you that this year's Fitness Olympia is essentially a done deal. But something tells me that Regina De Silva isn't paying any of these experts much attention. Late Sunday evening, De Silva dropped what might be her most stunning round of updates yet, where she shows off a level of conditioning that looks to be light years ahead of anything else we've seen in the fitness division. Dating back to 2014, when she brought home the runner-up title in a very contested decision, De Silva has routinely been one of the most dangerous athletes in the entire fitness division. And if there's anyone coming into this year's contest who won't back down from a challenge, her name has got to be Regina De Silva. On paper, this year's Figure Olympia might be one of the most stacked lineups from top to bottom we've seen in recent memory. And one of the outside threats poised to come in and make her mark at this year's contest is Iron Mag Labs athlete Bojana Vasiljevic. On Monday, new progress photos surfaced from sources inside the Vasiljevic camp, giving us a sneak peek at what could arguably be the emerging star's best conditioning yet. When you look at the way her 2017 season has played out so far, it doesn't take long to see that Vasiljevic is in the midst of putting together the best stretch of her career right now. And if she can strike that perfect balance of fullness and conditioning, I think she's someone who has a chance at really making a strong push to secure a top 10 finish. The way things have been shaping up over the last few weeks, it feels like we might be in store for an epic battle in the first call out on the Men's Physique Olympia stage. So I guess it's a good thing that former Arnold Classic champ Brandon Hendrickson is coming into this year's contest ready for war. Inside sources have told me that Hendrickson has poured every last ounce of blood, sweat, and tears that he's got into this year's prep. And the way I see it, the results speak for themselves. At the moment, Hendrickson looks to be sporting the sharpest conditioning he's had at any point in his career. So, if 100% of the newer, sharper, harder, more focused Brandon Hendrickson can ride this wave all the way to the first callout, once the elbows start flying, he's got about as good a chance as anyone to find himself as the last man standing. Every once in a while on a leg day, you've got to step into the gym with one of those F.U. attitudes, where you don't walk out of there until the mission has been completed. And apparently Monday was one of those days for second year monster Alexis Rolone. Earlier this week, Rolone released video from one of his legendary savage leg workouts as he blasts his way one rep at a time straight ahead toward the final phase of his 2017 campaign. During last year's rookie season, Rolone came in with a ton of hype following his overall win at the MPC Nationals, and boy did he ever live up to it. In a few sporadic appearances, Rolone flashed signs of someone who has some serious star potential at some point here in the near future. And if he can manage to just put a few more finishing touches on the final product, this guy is going to be an absolute nightmare to deal with a whole lot sooner than later. Once you've been in this game long enough, you begin to realize that you don't measure your success by looking at where you are. You measure it by looking at how far you've come. And I'm not going to pretend to know what metric Luis Santa uses to evaluate himself these days, but I do know that whatever he's doing flat out works. A few weeks removed from putting together the best performance of his career back at the Tampa Pro, Santa already looks like he's got tunnel vision all dialed in again. New back training footage shows a laser sharp looking Santa grinding out a few sets of heavy rows and looking pretty damn thick in the process. Over the last 12 months we've seen Santa really transform his physique by packing on a ton of new quality stage muscle. And if he can manage to keep training the way he has these past few weeks, I think he'll have a shot to really surprise some people next season if he picks his spots correctly. 